In a world consumed by the fires of war, there exists a battleground unlike any other, amidst the chaos, where man fought man, a forgotten chapter unfolds, here, nature itself became an adversary. Ancient predators emerged from the depth, soldiers waded through treacherous waters, facing not only human foes but the relentless forces of nature. In this primal struggle, heroes were born, and legends were forged. Join us as we unearth the forgotten saga of Ramri Island, where survival meant conquering not only the enemy, but the very essence of nature itself. This is the untold tale of those who danced with death amidst the mangrove trees. In the annals of history, war has brought forth tales of valiance, camaraderie, and unspeakable horrors. Yet, amidst the cannon's thunder and the trampling of boots, an unusual adversary emerged during World War II's Battle of Ramri Island, the saltwater crocodile. This is a story not just of men fighting men, but of men locked in an existential struggle against the primal forces of nature. A struggle that unfolded within the mire of a mangrove swamp, where the jaws of death were wielded not by fellow soldiers but by ancient predators. The Battle of Ramri Island took place during the Pacific Theater of World War II in January and February 1945. If you're enjoying our content, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Your support means the world to us. And don't forget to drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being awesome, and back to the video. Ramri Island, located off the coast of Burma, now Myanmar, was a strategic location that both the Allied forces, primarily British and Indian troops, and the Imperial Japanese Army sought to control. The battle began with the landing of British and Indian forces on the island with the objective of driving out the Japanese forces occupying it. The fighting was fierce, involving both ground forces and naval support. After several weeks of intense combat, the Allied forces managed to gain control of the island. However, one of the most harrowing aspects of the battle was the Japanese soldiers' ordeal as they attempted to cross a vast mangrove swamp on the island. This swamp was densely populated by saltwater crocodiles, which are known to be aggressive and opportunistic predators. Exhausted soldiers, already drained by the intense fighting, found themselves in a perilous situation, wading through waist-high mud and getting ensnared by the tangles of roots. The very ground seemed reluctant to support their weight, turning each step into a struggle, their progress was marked by the constant effort to free their feet from the swamp suction. The air was thick with humidity, and the stench of rotting plants hung heavy. In this eerie, half-lit world, visibility was limited, and the glints of crocodile eyes lurking beneath the water's surface cast an ominous shadow. Amidst the quagmire, the soldiers' passage created ripples that reverberated through the water, drawing the attention of the submerged predators. The crocodiles, having sensed the scent of blood, honed in on the potential for a feast. As the soldiers pressed forward, unaware of the impending threat, the crocodiles silently closed the distance, then, with swift and sudden violence, the crocodile struck. Their powerful jaws snapped shut with bone-crushing force, pulling soldiers beneath the water's surface before they could even cry out. The swamp echoed with the desperate screams of those caught in this deadly ambush, their comrades powerless to help in the chaos, in this watery battleground, survival was a gamble of chance and agility. Some soldiers managed to fight off the crocodiles with the butt of their rifles or improvised weapons, narrowly escaping the gaping maws. Others, however, were not so fortunate. The swamp waters turned crimson as blood mingled with the mud, creating a grotesque canvas of death, the soldiers' struggle against the crocodiles became a harrowing dance of life and death. The terror of the unseen enemy beneath the water's surface cast a pall over their every move. Those who had fallen during the initial onslaught became grim warnings to those who followed, their fate a stark reminder of the precariousness of their situation. As the battle continued to rage on land, the swamp transformed into a killing field of a different kind. The mangroves, once a sanctuary for diverse wildlife, now harbored an apex predator that knew no allegiance. The soldiers' journey through the swamp had become a desperate race against time, as the crocodiles showed no signs of relenting. In the heart of this aquatic nightmare, humanity's grasp on survival seemed fragile at best. The soldiers pressed forward, struggling through the muck while casting wary glances at the waters that concealed their relentless adversaries. The very essence of war's cruelty seemed to have taken on a new form in the form of these ancient predators, as soldiers grappled not just with human enemies, but with nature's primeval savagery. In the midst of the dark and frightening scene, a small bit of hope appeared. A few soldiers, driven by their strong urge to survive, found safety by climbing into the tangled branches of mangrove trees. They hoisted themselves up high above the water, away from the crocodile's reach. From their new vantage point, they nervously looked down at the water below, where hungry crocodile eyes glinted. 
the trees became a safe place, a fragile refuge in the dangerous situation they were facing. As the soldiers clung to the branches, the swamp's environment turned against them. Mud seeped into their clothes, making them cold and uncomfortable. Heavy rain poured down, soaking the soldiers and making their perches slippery. The branches swayed in the wind, making it dangerous for them to hold on, to stay warm and dry, the soldiers used leaves and branches to make simple shelters. They gathered close together to share body heat and avoid getting too cold. They were hungry, so they ate whatever little food they could find from their supplies that hadn't been destroyed in the chaos. Dehydration was a big problem. The soldiers were up high, away from the dangerous water with crocodiles, but they still needed water. Going down to the water was risky because of the crocodiles. Some soldiers used their helmets as cups, putting them in the water to collect drinking water. Others used pieces of cloth to soak up rainwater when it rained, being hungry was a big issue too. As the days went on, they had less and less food. This made them feel weak and dizzy. They looked for anything they could eat, like bugs and plants. Their empty stomachs reminded them how important it was to find food to survive. It was a constant struggle to stay strong and not give up. In the thick mass of trees, sleep was crucial but risky. The soldiers were exhausted from watching out for danger day after day, and finding rest was tough with all the tension. They were afraid of surprise crocodile attacks, so they struggled to stay awake, staring at the water's surface. When they did sleep, they had bad dreams about the battle and their friends' terrible fates, to stay alert, they helped each other. They talked and played easy word games to avoid falling asleep. Sharing their experiences and being friends gave them comfort during this tough time. The hours felt really long, and every moment was a test of how strong they were both physically and mentally. As the battle on the island got really intense, the soldiers up in the trees had to make a tough choice. They had to decide whether to stay up there and face the dangers of the swamp or come down from the trees, even though it was risky. As the intense battle on Ramri Island neared its end, a ray of hope appeared for the soldiers stuck in the mangrove swamp. As the Japanese forces retreated, the noisy chaos that had attracted crocodiles started to calm down. With the fighting easing, the crocodiles became less interested in the swamp, giving the soldiers a short break from the danger, the surviving soldiers, tired and tested, saw a chance to cautiously leave their safe spots in the trees. Many soldiers, feeling a mix of desperation and determination, slowly moved through the murky water with shaky legs. They moved carefully, trying not to make any noise or movement that could alert the few remaining crocodiles, in the midst of the mud, fear, and exhaustion, they teamed up to help each other. Those who were stronger and less tired assisted their weaker comrades through the tough terrain. They moved slowly through the waist-deep water, knowing that even a small mistake could lead to trouble. While trying to find safety, they met other soldiers who had survived the battle on the firmer ground of the island. These rescuers bravely faced the mud and crocodile-infested waters to lend a hand to their fellow soldiers. The soldiers who made it out of the mangrove swamp carried stories of how they survived, stuck together, and stayed strong. These stories spread to other soldiers and people all around, making the Battle of Ramri Island famous for how tough people can be and how war can bring unexpected challenges. The crocodile incidents, which used to be hidden in the confusion of battle, now showed how brave the soldiers were. After the battle, when the injured soldiers were taken care of and those who didn't make it were remembered, the survivors thought about what they went through. The scary moments in the swamp stayed with them, reminding them how fragile life can be during war. But their ability to make it through gave them a sense of hope, showing that even when things are really bad, people can find a way to overcome tough times. Amidst a war where people fought over beliefs and battles left the ground covered in blood, the soldiers on Ramri Island faced a very different kind of enemy. These were crocodiles, ancient hunters driven by their basic instincts. These crocodiles turned the battleground into a swampy place of survival. The soldiers who managed to escape from this swamp didn't just have scary stories to tell. They showed everyone how to keep going when things are really tough, how to adjust to new situations, and how to stay strong even when the odds are against you. As time goes on, the story of these soldiers reminds us that even when things are incredibly hard, human determination never breaks. The crocodiles on Ramri Island weren't just dangerous animals. They became symbols of how everything in nature is connected, how life is delicate, and how bravery shines when things are at their worst. 
After the battle, mass crocodile hunt took place in Ramari Island. Almost all crocodiles killed during that time they hunted a more than 100-year-old crocodile. Is it one among the crocodile which killed many soldiers? What is your opinion? Let me know in the comments.